I haven't made a game in so long, and lately I really want to make my own creature collector and battling game, and to come up with my own spin on the battle system to stand out from other titles in the genre. Unfortunately, like many, I'm a solo dev, a very busy solo dev, and designing a whole word and storyline is a task that at the moment is just unfeasible for me. So, in order to only focus on the battle system and forget all of the cool stuff like word building and level design, I'm going to build a framework that allows me to iterate and test it more easily. I am going to make the game into a roguelike, or a roguelite, whatever, you know what I mean. Every roguelite needs a way for the player to traverse a series of encounters, and today I'm going to try to code a map generator that is inspired by one of the most influential games in the genre, Slate Aspire. Slate Aspire presents the player with a map layout that looks like this, and is basically just a graph where the nodes are encounters and the edges are the paths between them. Every encounter could be a variety of things, but in my case I'm going to wait until I'm further on with development to figure out exactly what's gonna happen. And I know I could probably find an answer on how they did it online, but I actually like the idea of working on it myself, so let's just get started. To start, let's generate a grid of nodes. From now on I'm going to refer to nodes as rooms and to columns in this grid as floors. Now let's connect every room with the one next to it on the following floor and let's just go through the graph one floor at a time, shifting connections up and down one step to just randomize the paths. This just leaves some unreachable rooms which I can remove in a second pass. And that's it, thank you for watching. Wait, 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 don't go yet. Maybe it was just a problem with my implementation, but I really did not like the results I was getting. So I decided to scrap this and come up with a new algorithm. What if instead of starting from the first floor, I start from the last and walk backwards? And what if I pre-select the rooms to be removed and then just build the path through the remaining ones, skipping the cleaning step? How should I handle the crossing edge? How many floors should I be? Wait, how many rooms should there be on any? How should I handle the first and last floor? They are. And what's Ligma? Am I not good enough to do this? Pause. Maybe this is a little dramatic, but the answer that I found lies exactly in this frame. After bumping my head against the wall for a second, I realized I could just forget about coming up with an algorithm, let RNG take the wheel, and entrust the graph to a random walk. From Wikipedia, a random walk, sometimes known as a drunkard's walk, is a stochastic process that describes a path that consists of a succession of random steps through a mathematical space. Or, if we were to rephrase that, we can create paths in our graphs just by taking random steps from one floor to the next, from the first to the last. Let's define the same grid as before, this time with no pre-existing edges between the rooms. Starting from a random room on the first floor, we can just move to one of the three neighbors on the following floor by going straight or shifting the connection up or down. And we can just do this for every single floor and we have a complete path. We can repeat this process a number of times to create a set of paths across the entire graph. Now since my map only exists in code at the moment, I'm going to slap some visuals onto it and add some functions to retrieve what nodes and edges are visible from every point inside the graph. Now we have a navigable level that the player can actually traverse. And that's all I had to show for this nice and short coding adventure. If you're curious to see where this game goes gameplay wise, you might have to wait for the next video and hope I just don't start a new side project. Now, as I said before, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uno, <laughs>